Hello from Zia Vision. My name is Mike Dahl, Director of Strategic Accounts with Zia Vision. You know, oftentimes I get the question, what is the reliability of the scores that come from this equipment? And why do sometimes I see the different scores for the same patient? So let's have a discussion about that. It's helpful to understand that the Zia Vision's Quantify instrument has been the premier instrument in macular pigment optical density testing in the United States for seven years. This instrument is used by hundreds and hundreds of practices and has measured accurately over two million eyes. So why sometimes the variability? Well, the real reason why is and what is key to maintaining good, accurate, reliable scores that will repeat in a practice is what you see up on the screen today. It is extremely important that your technicians give the same directions every time they administer the test and they give the exact same words within those directions. So let's take a quick moment and review those. First, it's important that when the patient pl places the response button in their hand that they're resting their thumb on the button. It's also important to note that when the patient looks inside the viewfinder and to make them aware that there's three horizontal dots and they need to be focused on the center dot and that the test begins after the dot turns blue. When they need to respond is at the beginning of that shimmer or flicker. So if you use these directions that you see on the screen now, it will increase the accuracy and, the, and your results. It will also keep retesting down to a minimum. The next thing I'd like to suggest to you is, is when you have questions like this, take three or four of your staff members. Have them test themselves every other day for about two or three weeks. Have them use these directions each time begin before they take this test and give an honest run. And you will find that the reliability of your graphs comes right back into play. So oftentimes in practices, what we've learned is that there's multiple people involved. Some practices have more than one technician. Some practices have, have more than one person evaluating the graphs. So take your time. Learn these initial instructions. Learn that those graphs have three typical shapes, a sideways S, a U, or a V. Learn that this, every graph must have a smooth downward trend, a clear defined minimum, and three consecutive upticks. And you'll have the, the results that you need for the accuracy and reliability of your scores. Thank you for your time today.